Hi guys, just coming up to one o'clock here, Wednesday 22nd of May. We'll have a quick look over the calendar uh, and the charts from this morning going into uh, the US session. Uh, this morning, data-wise, we had some uh, inflation numbers out of the UK, obviously a lot more going on in the UK than just uh, the inflation numbers to be aware of, but they were slight miss of expectations, uh, nothing too much to make the, the pound go either way course the, the main driver of uh, the pound up at the moment is the uncertainty surrounding Brexit and Theresa May despite the relief rally we saw yesterday uh, that was short-lived and we're now back below uh, where we were trading uh, pre-announcement pre-speech from Theresa May going into the back end of the session uh, beginning of US we have some Canadian uh, retail sales numbers coming out shortly uh, and the usual DOE uh, crude inventories at half three. Having a, a quick look at the, the markets at how they've they've traded today. Uh, if we just bring in the the pound, you can see. Let's make this a, a bit bigger. Uh, just to put the the move into to context from yesterday, we we pushed higher almost up to uh, 128.50 to come all the way back down, and we've actually just spiked to a uh, a fresh low that we haven't seen. And this is obviously going back here to well last time we were trading here would have been the 3rd of Jan so a big big reversal here from those highs and uh, it's continued to to push lower despite um, you know the the pound moving lower here against the dollar the dollar isn't necessarily too strong uh, at the moment uh, other elsewhere worth keeping an eye on on equities which had a, a decent push higher Monday evening uh, on the, on Trump's three month uh, sort of waiver if you like on on business with uh, Huawei. However, quite a few companies coming out today and EE have suspended pre-orders, Vodafone as well and all of this is starting to weigh on, on stocks again after that rally that we saw on Monday and, and not just in uh, across the, uh, the pond in the States but also in Europe here as well. The DAX is pushing to the low of the day, Eurostox doing so uh, as well and in turn your safe havens have pushed higher. T-Notes uh, has continued its push from this morning and gold has broken uh, out of this trend as well, which have been quite well respected going back to the evening that we had back on Monday. Uh, where could this go from here? Uh, we're keeping an eye pretty much where we're trading now was the high of yesterday morning. Uh, and of course, if that was to break through R1 and the highs from Monday, very key level. But also if we were to come back lower, keeping an eye on this trend line. And also you can see how it marks up quite nicely with the low from yesterday uh, as well. Uh, so with oil coming out, yeah, we perhaps best to, to wait for things to uh, to develop. But we have just perhaps started a, a new range, uh, having broken out of the one that's been going on really since Thursday last week. You can see how strong a resistance this point is: one, two, three, four times the support before breaking through and really solid resistance. To the downside, I'll be keeping an eye on uh, the S S two sixty two fifteen on the futures and even below that around 61, 65. As usual, any questions, please do uh, let me know, but I hope you will have a, a good trading session.